Hello everyone, welcome to see and learn. Today we will continue to the third part of important terms in computer programming. Part 1 and part 2 are already uploaded. If you have not watched it, please watch it. The link is given in the description box. So we will discuss these terms today. Bug, debug, build, run, exe, file, header files and library. These terms are commonly used when you write the program and execute it. So let us start. The first term we are going to discuss is bug. Whenever we write the program, the errors occurs in the program. The errors may be syntax errors or logical errors. So these errors are nothing but the bug in the programs. And as the error do not let the program to execute. So we have to remove that error from the program and process of removing the error from the program is called as the debugging or debug. The third term is build. Build is an activity that converts the source code into the executable program. So build process goes through the main uh, many sub processes like fetching the code, compiling the code, running the program, linking the libraries, code and files. So build process creates the executable program that is binary file. Then the next term is run. Run is the process of executing the program. When you write the program, you want to see the output of the program and before uh, run, we compile it, but compile do not show you the output of the program. So run process executes your program. The next term is exe. A file with exe extension is called as the executable file used in operating system like Windows. MS-DOS for opening the software programs. So exe is nothing but the software of your program that hides the source code. It contains the binary machine code that has been compiled from the source code. Exe also contains graphics, pro programs icon and other resources that are needed by the program. So basically exe is your software. The next term is file. A file is an object on a computer that stores data, information, setting or commands used with a computer program. So file is actually the space that is hold in the memory and that space is used for storing the data, information settings of command. The next term is header files. These files are used to tell the compiler how to call some functions and these uh, files are called as the header files. These files contain the function prototype. Function prototype is nothing but the information about that function. What is the name of the function? What is the data type, return type of the function, what are the parameters of function and they also contains the data types and constant used with the libraries. In C language, we use hash include to use these header files in the programs and these files ends with the dot h extensions. The next term we are going to see is the library. Library is the place where the actual functionality is implemented. That means they contain the function body. Function body is the program of the function or steps of that function and this functionality is stored in the library. So I think you understand the terms what is meant by bug, debug, build, run, 
exe and library files header files and files hope you would like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel click the bell icon for more updates see you soon in the next video until then stay tuned stay blessed